Lionsburg is a diverse international body of individuals and organizations coming together to solve the grand challenges, accomplish the global goals, and design and build the best possible future for all. The plan's basically to build the systems and infrastructure to connect and empower the first 3% of the human population, creating a decentralized and optimally distributed 250 million strong force for good. All we need is resources and relationships. We've laid all the groundwork through legal, governance, systems, technology, infrastructure, and we brought together the first 100 to 200 co-creators. Now we're in the process of just gravitating in the next rounds of resources and relationships to continue advancing the critical path. The critical path basically involves shifting human consciousness and our way of being and inviting each individual on planet Earth to come into community and right relationship with one another. We're starting with that, three per, that first 3% to enable the facilitation of bioregional planning processes around the world that will engage local neighborhoods and communities in discovering and resurrecting their deepest visions, aspirations, and values. The structure works basically by federating and equipping that decentralized array of teams with the resources, relationships, systems, technology that none of them could afford in isolation. It also enables measurability across the distributed array of quarterly plans that each of the groups is executing, enabling for the first time in human history, mm -hmm. ecosystemic information, resource, and relationship flows across the network. It's designed to be completely invitational and self-assembling from the bottom up. Basically how it works is each individual of their own free will and consent comes into voluntary association around our shared goals and values of what we're doing to meet this moment in history. From there, each of those individuals forms of their own free will, small groups or teams that then engage in meaningful quarterly conversations and quests that stack up and align to produce throughput of our shared goals and values. To the average person, it would, look, it would look like an unprecedented number of networked and connected teams around the world, helping one another, supporting one another, sharing information, sharing solutions, sharing resources, and tackling pragmatic quarterly quests that make our world a better place. The long-term vision is nothing short than the refounding of our civilization. Unfortunately, over the last few generations, we've got wildly off track. Many of our existing institutions and structures have become completely corrupted and co-opted by forces that are acting in a way that's completely antithetical to the shared goals, visions, values, and, and aspirations of almost everybody on Earth and our planet. Really what we're talking about is, is working to facilitate a total shift of human consciousness over a 10-year period. And, and truly inviting people into a cooperative new way of being together as a human species aboard planet Earth. The seed of value is really the act of consciously realigning our notion of value with our values. Our values inform our vision of the type of world that we would like for our children and grandchildren to live in. And by definition, really technically, value creation is producing throughput of that vision that we share into the reality that we inhabit together. So the whole system is really designed to pull intention into reality and to measure that process of day by day, week by week, month by month value creation completely in alignment with our shared values. Everything in nature is, is interconnected. Everything in the universe is interexistent and all the power and potential of any living system doesn't lie in the distributed individual parts, but in the synergy and the relationships and the interconnections between them. Our human species is no different, nor is our relationship with this whole living system that we're a part of. So many times we've separated out all these different parts of our society, forgetting that we as a human species and as part of this beautiful planet are one inner existence system. A whole systems approach basically challenges to step back and think from as close as we can 
to the perspective of God about what this whole interoperable system is, what our role is within it, and how we can truly identify how the systems work and what our role is and our relationships within them.